everybody, it's Adam, and we are coming to you from the AATS in Philadelphia. I'm very excited to be sitting next to Dr. Stephen Bowling, who is the director of the Mitral Valve Clinic at the University of Michigan. And we've got a discussion that we were just having about a recent presentation that you gave at the Mitral Conclave. You presented a piece um, that was titled, Who is Performing Mitral Valve Surgery in the Uni United States? I found a lot of what you talked about was really interesting and really valid for the patients out there. I was hoping you might be able to summarize some of the key findings from, from your research. Well, thanks, Adam. Um, this is really an interesting piece of research. It looked at about 50,000 cases of mitral valve surgery and correlated all the factors that would predict a patient getting a mitral valve repair as opposed to a replacement. You know, as you know, the concept of mitral valve repair is so different for the patients as opposed to mitral valve replacement that that patient can expect to live 10 or 20 years longer with a mitral valve repair, not have the complications of being on Coumadin or facing a redo. Mitral valve repair really is the gold standard. It really almost cures that disease. We looked at all the surgeries done in the United States for mitral valve surgery for three years in a row, and our findings were that by individual surgeon volume, the more that surgeon operated on the mitral valve, the more for any given patient he was likely to repair it. Now, in and of itself, that's not outstanding. The more that you do of anything, the better you are, but this is really the first time in the United States we've been able to show that by individual surgeon volume. Your surgeon should be accountable. And I think it is a very important thing for patients to know how much mitral valve surgery that surgeon does. Now it's sort of being jokingly said that if your surgeon advises mitral valve replacement, you should replace your surgeon. But in a sense, I think that's true. Well, Dr. Bowling, thank you so much for all that you're doing, the research, the clinical work. I know we've got a lot of uh, folks out there who've come to you for surgery and they've had a great result. I want to thank you for coming by the booth today and sharing uh, your research with all the folks uh, at our community. So thanks so much for what you're doing. Adam, thanks for having me here. Yeah.